Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends, and uh, I hope today we will have a good discussion together. Uh, and I hope Christians and Muslims will speak in a nice and respectful way. And anyone will go out of the line, we will block you. Uh, no one is allowed to attack the Muslims. <clears throat> we are here talking about the religion, not about the people. And vice versa. Anyone will go and we be rude, we are going to block him. Uh, today, our topic, we spoke before about uh, a Muslim a cleric. His name Abdul Samud. And I like his name. I mean, like, he's Abdul and he is Samud. Or Sumad and this guy he said before that uh, when a Muslim woman she asked him like she have a she's have a special feeling when she see the cross so Abdul Samud he said to her uh, because the cross I have a genie it's an infidel genie infidel genie I mean it's is it obvious inside the cross there is infidel genie. Hey, genie, what are you doing inside the cross? I cannot tell you. I come on, just tell us what are you doing inside the cross? Sorry, I cannot tell you. Okay, genie, what about we rent for you a five stars hotel room and you stay there for the night and leave the cross alone? Sorry, I cannot leave the cross. I like it. Why you like the cross, Mr. Genie? I Dr. Abdul Samud, he knew better. So the intelligence of Abdul Samud or Abdul Samad that in the cross there is a genie. Brother and sister, it is proven that inside the cross there is a genie, and this is proven to be scientifically accurate, and we can prove it so easy. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Doctor Abdul Samud, I mean, how you discover this? I mean, you Muslims, you did not go to the moon, but you know yet about anything. I mean, you have an ultimate knowledge of everything. So now inside this cross, there is a genie. Absolutely. And uh, how you can discover that? I will explain to you. As an example, if you touch electricity, what happened to you? Uh, you get electrocuted. Exactly. And this is what happened to Muslims when they touch the cross. They get electrocuted. Obviously, there's an electronic genie. Electronic genie? So yesterday he was an infidel genie, now he is electronic? Well, like, what happened? Because simply he learned about electricity and he bought some batteries and he is using electricity. Okay. I'm really, really convinced that Islam make you a smart person. I mean, not only make you a smart person, you are a genius. Don't tell me I'm a genius because genius are coming from the word dini. What, what? The word genius is coming from the word dini, and you are saying to me I am a dini. I am not a dini. Um, no, obviously you are not a genie. You are an idiot. Thank you very much. So when this guy he said that the cross he have a genie inside. <clears throat> to explain to the women why she have a special feeling. He could not explain anything. I mean, obviously, he is desperately stupid. Because according to Islam, genies don't go inside and live inside material, like uh, dead wood or, you know. Genie, according to Muslims, they can go inside you. They can even have sex with you. But inside a, a, a piece of wood, that's, not, that's even not Islamic. However, as long Mr. Abdul Samud, he said what he said, and we cannot fix what he said. I mean, you are a gr thank you. You you get you, you are a certified idiot now, Mr. Abdul Samud. But how Mr. Abdul Samud is going to answer us about this? We have a prophet who he claim that inside him there is a genie, and that genie is a devil. This prophet, his name is Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad, so, <clears throat> this is Iranian style. <clears throat> prophet Muhammad, he taught us that we have to be careful that everyone have a genie, a devil, including him. Let us call a friend of uh, Abdul Samud. 
and see what happened here. Ta-da-dun, 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 ta-da-dun. Christian Prince, Christian Prince, I told you 1,000 times, don't call me. And by the way, how you find out my number? Uh, I, you changed your number? I changed it 1,000 times, still you can call me in the accurate number. How you can do that? Because I think... Uh, I know why, because you have a dini. You have a dini and he's spying at me. And he is getting you my number and you keep calling me. And I can, I, I will report you to the genie police. Uh, genie police? There's a police who have it. Exactly. Because we Muslim, we believe there is an infidel dini and there is a bad dini. And there is a Christian dini. And there is a Muslim dini. And obviously the one who is helping you is a Christian dini. So he is a Christian genie who gave me your number. Hello? Zakir, are you there? Sorry, I was picking up something from my node. Hey, yes, exactly. It is a Christian Dini. Otherwise, you have to explain to me how you get my number after I said it 1,000 times. Um, you changed the number 1,000 times? Actually, it's more than 1,000. I can't even count it. Okay, uh, uh, Zach and Nag, the number is very easy. I mean, you change it, but you post it online again. I mean, uh, yes, I did that. So it's not the genie. It's you on your Facebook. You're posting your number. Yes, I did that. So I think it's not the genie. I think you're being stupid. Don't say that. I'm not stupid. According to Islamic scientists studied, I am the most smart Muslim between all the Muslims in the world. So you're upset from me for calling you on your number, and yet you are posting your number online. <clears throat> anyway, Mr. Zakarnaik, the prophet, he said, that none amongst you who have, have <clears throat> who is not attached from amongst the jinn, the devil. You see, this is a devil. And you have a companion here is the devil. The companions, they said, with you too? And they are like, what? Like, what, what? So with you too? Thereupon he said, yes, yes, yes. But Allah help me against him and I am safe from his hand. He does not command me, but for good. And this is Sahih. So we have a Muslim prophet. His name is Muhammad. He is the founder of the cult of Islam. Admit that he received command from the devil. How you explain that to us, uh, Mr. Abdul Samud or Zakir Naik? I will leave the mic open for either one of you to answer. Uh, brother Abdul Samud, uh, <clears throat> uh, brother Zakir Naik, uh, uh, I think you better answer the question. No, brother Abdul Samud, I think you are from Indonesia. And I think your country is bigger than my country. At, at least for the count of Muslims. And you have the right to answer the question. Uh, uh, brother uh, Zakir Naik, I think it's better if you answer a Christian Prince about this uh, because you are more famous. Uh, brother, I insist, you are the one who is going to answer this question because simply your name is Abdul and your last name is Samud. Uh, uh, brother Zakir Naik, I think this is embarrassing. There are millions of people they are waiting for us for the answer. And I think you do better job if you answer because you are a doctor. First of all, I am not a doctor. I do do give medicine to pet, like cat, rats, etc. I'm not a real doctor. I see I graduated from a background school which have nothing to do with medicine. Okay. So, guys, are you going to answer me? I don't care, you know, Zakir Naik or Abdul Samud. Just I want to have an answer. How he is a prophet, and inside him there is a devil, and the devil is commanding him. Uh, any answer? Abdul Samud, uh, Zakir Naik, hello, hello, uh, Zakir, Abdul, <laughs> Abdul, uh, sorry, uh, 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 because for me it's late, uh, uh, I am in Bangladesh and uh, in Malaysia actually and I need to go to sleep. Uh, okay, that can I you can go to sleep. I understand it's very late for you. Uh, what about you, Abdul Sarud? I'm sleeping already. Who is the Muslim, including Mr. Abdul Samud? When I explain to us <clears throat> what kind of a prophet he says 
that he had a genie and this genie brother <clears throat> is command him and this genie is the devil is a shaitan and this genie is commanding him to be good you just admitted you Muslims that you're a prophet he have a genie and he is an infidel in the top of that he is the devil himself and he is the one who command your prophet so how mr. Abdul Samud can do that I heard Abdul Samud when he recite Quran like it's very funny Bismillah, Allah, 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 and the Muslim like Allah, Allah, Allah. Hmm. But nobody understand what he's saying uh, look at them looking at him like is if this is the guy he will answer you he will teach you he will go I challenge all your ustad in Indonesia whatever they are to call me live on air and explain to me what kind of a prophet he says as you see this is not my statement this is not a statement made by Christian Prince or by the Hindus or by the Jews or by the by the love guru hmm this is a statement made by your prophet every one of you Muslims have a genie a companion he is a devil he is not a genie so he is infidel for sure and he is shaitan himself they ask him with you too he said yes thereupon he said but Allah help me against him and I am safe from his hands and he does not command me but for good so you're a prophet he received commands from the devil claiming that the devil gave him good command this is a good devil I mean this devil is really really so like I think this devil he like he jump around the prophet and he's he's saying I'm sexy and I know it so how he is a devil and how he is inside the prophet and how he is commanding the prophet and how he is commanding him to do good like what exactly who is a Muhammadan Ustad wanna tell us what is the good command of the devil was given from the devil to Muhammad like what like a drinking camel urine is that from Allah or from the devil like what exactly like beating your wife is that a command from God or from the devil hmm like what if you see your wife in the bed you have to bring for witnesses hey my wife don't move keep your panty off and you hey, you 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 st stay there stay there exactly yeah yeah between there uh, <coughs> yeah don't move I have to call four friends brother uh, brother Ahmad please I want you to come to my house immediately because I found my wife having sexual intercourse with the neighbor actually it's not the neighbor it's the guy who work in the grocery store Hey brother, I'm busy. Tell your wife to wait for me. I can be there after four o'clock p.m. Hey brother, it is now in the middle of the night. You made me to wait it tomorrow. Can't you make it faster? Uh, okay, I will be there by maybe an eight hour from now. Okay, thank you very much. So now the guy he have to collect four witnesses from the end of the earth to come and see his wife having boom boom. Is that a command from God or a command from the genie? And not only that, I, I don't want to go in details. You have to see the <clears throat> getting in the in the <laughs> in the purse. What is that? Is that a command from God or this is a command from the genie? So you are saying to the Muslim women who felt something good for the cross. Oh, okay, well you felt something good for the cross because there is obviously a genie inside the cross But even if there's a genie inside a piece of wood the genie cannot command you and control you Do we have any Muslim want to say anything I'm going to open my Skype to give opportunity to our friends from the Muslim community so they can call us and they can 
refute us. And during this time, I will leave you with some exciting genie music. I'm scared. I'm terrified. What is that? All right, our Skype is now open. If there is any... <clears throat> Any uh, educated Muslim he like to share with us? How the prophet he received command from the devil, claiming that the devil do command good and he is a good person, yet he called him the devil. How the devil became a source of command in Islam, which means maybe the devil now by by the statement of Muhammad himself, not my statement. Right, we have a Muslim. <laughs> Hello. Hello, it's me again. It's you again. You want to cough before you start? Uh, no, maybe later, later. Later. Okay, no problem. So, what do you think <laughs> about your prophet saying that uh, the devil command him? The devil commands him. Okay. Mm -hmm. What well, what about it? I don't see anything wrong with that. What do you mean? There's nothing wrong. So, do, do the command? Uh, do the devil command you too? Oh, the devil, you know, uh, I, well, first of all, it doesn't say devil. It says jinn. No, right? it, says, it says devil. No, it says devil. No, it says jinn. Okay. You want to bet? Yeah, sure. Okay. From what to what? Uh, from what to what? You sing for us a sing of a genie? Uh, what do you mean? Yeah, it says, it says jinn. Hmm. Read for me this the screen. Hang on, let me see. Oh man. Uh, okay. Where is it? I, I don't see it. It's in the screen. Refresh your screen. Say some word like sham shamu shakshahu. Those genie like genie will make it. Will genie will come? Uh, just refresh. I your only screen. see. I only see uh, clouds. Oh, you see clouds. Sorry, it's my mistake. Okay, I think this genie he hit the uh, the wrong button. Okay, now what about now? You see it? No, I don't still. I still don't see it. Hang on, let me just refresh hmm. my water fox. Is it's your fox is refreshing? A hmm. Sorry, taking so long. No problem. I still, I, I still see clouds. Um, uh, it's uh, maybe it's a slow from your side. It's okay. You should see it soon. <clears throat> oh, there it is. Okay, read for us. Uh, I looked for the messenger and I put my hand on his hair. Mm. He said, Ishaitan is... Okay, uh, where is this from? Could you show me? Uh, is it from... This is from Sri Lanka. Sahihain? This is from Sri Lanka. What do you mean what this is from? You said to me, it is not a shaitan. I showed you this is shaitan. So now what we will do? Well... Where did you get this from? This is the Aif Hadith. Le, uh, it, if it's the Aif, then it's weak. Then it, it, it cannot be used. It cannot be used? Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay. What if it's Sahih? If it's Sahih, uh, then it, yeah, it means... Uh, okay, yeah. It's, good. Go. it's Sahih. It's Sahih. I was, I was just playing with you. Here we go. It is Sahih. What we will do now? It's a sahih, yeah, <laughs> sahih. Wait, what does it say, sahih? It says there in the front of you. It is sahih. Oh, man. I think, I think uh, mm -hmm. my, my uh -huh. water fox is slow. Uh -huh. mm. I, I can see yeah. it was narrated from Ubada bin mm -hmm. Al-Walid. Mm -hmm. uh, hang on, let me just close mm -hmm. my water fox, mm. and then I'll open Firefox. Mm. Okay. Oh, okay. So, but it's it's from Sunan and Nasai. It doesn't right? matter. It's Sahih. <clears throat> yeah. Um, hmm. So now what we will do? So Muhammad he have a shaitan. Muhammad okay. he have a shaitan, and his shaitan he command him to do good. How shaitan? Well, here's what you. Here's uh -huh. what you don't know. Uh huh. Tell us what <laughs> I don't know. 
I, actually, I'm well, talking to you because I want to know what I do not know. This is the point. Thank you. Okay, brother. this um, there are many books um, that contain hadith. Mm -hmm. uh, there is the Iqtub al Sitta, um, the sixth. Uh -huh. uh, <clears throat> but the most um, mm. authentic uh -huh. would be the Sahihain, which are the um, okay. This is this is. Uh, this is and Muslim. Okay, this is the Sahih Hain. Here we go. This is Sahih Muslim. Here we go. We made you happy. Now. Okay. Okay. So you have no. I. You are out of all. All the excuses you have, they are bur burned now. Okay. So now uh, let's okay. go. Let us cut that crap. Go to the topic. All right. Hmm. So your this prophet, he have a better. devil. He have a devil, and this devil is command him to do good. Now it says jinn from amongst the jinn. My friend, the bar prophet in the other hadith says it is a shaitan, and actually, if we go. You see, all the hadith confirm that the jinn is isn't isn't it the jinn is a shaitan? Are you are you smart or stupid? Uh, no, uh, shaitan mm. is you know a type of jinn, but not all jinn are shaitan. You are right. That's the but your prophet he said in many other hadith that this jinn is a shaitan. If we but go the here, the most authentic saying would be the most the authentic. Jinn, here we go. This devil. is this is this is this is authentic. Here we go. This is authentic too. It says the shaitan is a genie. And he says, Inna shaitan yajri min ahadikum majraddam. The Satan, he run inside your blood. And this is Sahih. Uh, I don't see it. Um, you don't see you're, it. You're scrolling, you're scrolling, scrolling left and right. Uh, hmm. Am I slow? Um, is my connection no, slow? No, I never here? saw a Muslim is slow. Don't say that. Come on. Okay, what about <laughs> what about this? This is I am saying do not en enter is, upon al this is, this is Sahih Muslim. It says that every Muslim okay. inside him, the shaitan he run inside his blood. And this is what the Prophet of Islam talking about. He have a shaitan inside his blood the inside him. In ahadikum flows uh, from hmm. one of you. What? Oh man, I think my connection is slow. Hang on, I'll get I'll get my phone. Can I call you back? Oh, sure. You can call me back. Yeah. Goodbye. Okay. I will change my number. <laughs> call me, baby. I mean, okay. It's in the front of us, the prophet saying that every Muslim, there's a shaitan run inside his blood, inside the blood, inside you. And he himself, he have a shaitan inside him. And he claim that his shaitan, he command him not, but to do good. So what we will do now? <clears throat> do we have any Muslim? Mayday, mayday. Shaitan is needed. Let me call the shaitan from inside my blood to talk to you. Uh, shaitan, can you talk to them? Okay, okay. If uh, shaitan, he liked, okay, the sh shaitan, one of the shaitan things he do to mislead you, brother and sister, he play music. So he want to deceive you now. Here we go, shaitan. Shaitan, 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 Shaitan is playing. By the way, the prophet he said that the musical instrument is the musical instrument of the devil. So this is very accurate, Islamic. And one of them is the actually his best musical instrument, Shaitan, is the bell. Uh, yes, Abdul. Hello. Yes, Abdul. How are you? Um. Look, look. Listen. Hmm. I'm still. I'm, I'm still hearing this. So this is very accurate. Islamic. Okay. Don't listen it's to the it's YouTube. It's listen it's to me. The, the, uh, mute YouTube. Mute YouTube. You are talking to me in Skype. Why you want to hear me twice? You, you like double voices? 
No, it seems that uh, my my connection is slow. Okay, I see. Do not enter upon. Okay, let me ask you. Let, let okay. me uh, let me ask you. Let me ask you. The prophet okay. he said that shaitan his music is the is the bell. Is the, the, the bell? The okay. bell is the 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 music instrument of the devil. What do you say about that? Uh, uh shaitan's uh, music is the bell and what? Mm, the bell, the bell, like da 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 bell, da bell, you know, bell. Yes, I know, I know. Yeah. Okay, and what, what do you think about why why the shaitan he uh, uh, his uh, the bell is his uh, music instrument? Well, I don't know. It's not revealed. What do you mean not revealed? It, well, it doesn't say why the shaitan uses, you know, the bell. Mm. So shaitan, when he like to speak or etc., he uses uh, the bell because this is how he sing for us. Okay. Uh huh. So you agree with that? Uh, no, I. I agree that the devil uses the bell, but I don't know what, you know, they use it for. Mm. So, okay, based on this, do the angels like the bell or they hate the bell? Uh, I don't know. Okay, I will help you. I can't speak for hadith. the angels. Okay, I will help you. Here it says, I heard the message of Allah, S-A-W, this is like a shortwave uh, FM AM radio. The angel do not enter a house in which there is a small bell. What do you think? Why angels do not enter a house if there is a small bell inside the house? Where do you read this? I can't see it on the screen. The because you're my, using the internet of the neighbor. Stop using, the, stop using the internet of the neighbor. And my, my computer says Riyadh as Salihin. Hmm. I don't know which one. Which one? You, oh, okay. Now I see Sunan and Nasai. Hmm. Uh, Okay, I heard the messenger mm. of God say, mm. the angels do not enter a house in which there is a small bell. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Mm. Why, the, uh -huh. why the angels don't enter a house has a bell? Um, well, I don't know. Do you have a bell in your home? No, I don't. So how people, they come to your house, how, what they do in the, in the door? They knock. They knock. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. That, well, uh, uh, that's oh, very you're Islamic. Okay. Referring okay. to the doorbell. Okay. Well, what, what, what? What? Okay. Why the angels? Let us say. Let us say that devil he liked the bell. Still, why the angels cannot enter a house of a bell? Because the bell will not make a noise unless somebody play with it. That's number one. Number two. We have an angel of God. He's very powerful. Yet he is scared from a little tiny bell. Uh, it doesn't say they're scared. They just. They just don't enter a house that has mm. a small bell. And it doesn't mm. mean that all bells, you know, it, it just means those. Mm. Yeah. Why, this, why, why, am I, this, why am I hearing bells? Because I am just in the front of Big Ben. That's the whole story. And do you think the angels are running, running right now? So we have in the middle of London. Those who play Big, the bell. Uh huh. Uh, the bells that are used to play with, then mm. you know the angels don't come near it. No, the people well, at that time didn't play with the bell. The bell they hang it usually. They're people they're not they, afraid of the bell. No, they people just don't people come they near use the bell. The either people the, who listen, play listen, the bells. People who use the bell, they don't play with it. Either the uh, Christians to to call people for the prayer, or or the shepherd he put it in the neck of the of the sheep or the camel, so in case he's lost, he can find him. Especially the sheep, not the camel. So. In case the animal he lost, they put a bell in his neck, or you know, so they can find him easy. So why the angels have a problem with this bell? The angel, the answer is Muhammad. He said that the bell is the musical instrument of Shaitan. Don't you see the connection? I see the connection, but it, okay. but it's but, not talking about you know the the the, the proper use of bells. Just the it says it says that, it says the the the, uh, the bell is the musical instrument of shaitan. This, the bell doesn't matter what you do with it. And then it says that angels will not enter a house has a small bell, not even sound, just to have a small small bell. 
but the interpretation would okay, be read with this. those read, who read, have read this, read bells. This. Angels do and not accompany. Okay, angels do not accompany the traveler who do who have with them a dog and a bell. Why angels will not walk with you if you have a dog or a bell? Um, like I said, you know, it the bells the bells have it's uh, have their own use. If it's if they are misused, abused. So then, I, so what uh, it says if you have with you if you have with you are you misabuse what abuse it says dog and a bell where you cut them use abuse fuse what is that what what you are what are you are adding words to the story the the interpretation okay can you show me the interpretation, the interpretation. Where, 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 can you show me where the interpretation you get this from that if somebody abused the bell how you can abuse the bell by you know playing with it you know by so, so if you play with the bell you are abusing the bell this is the, this is what the bell is made for is to play with it is to now, make sound the bells the, the, the bells are this is my alarm hold on hold on wait wait okay yeah hmm. you're not playing with the bell okay you know it, it, if you use uh, if you use it if you use it on a phone, okay, you know you're not playing with it. Okay, is is Allah is Allah his voice is a voice of a bell? I don't know. Okay, is Shaitan his voice the voice of the bell? Because what the problem with the bell here is his sound. So what the problem with with the bell? Exactly. The, the, the problem is hmm. how they use it. That's the no problem. Okay, so how they use it? Tell me how you use it. It's a bell. Th that this is what is made for to make a sound. This is what the bell is for. The bell yes, is it's, okay. it's to make a sound. Okay. Not to so be why? Played so why? It. Okay. So make, why it you know, is music with it? What? Who is playing? How are you gonna play music with the bell? It's a bell in the time of Muhammad. The people use it only the Christians and those who they are shepherd. They put it in the neck of the. Uh, 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 of the sheep yes to mark them to mark them what mark them yeah uh -huh. you mark you mark your your dog with the bell no the, to make a noise to make sound so if he's lost yeah. you will know to where make he them is known so that means you know to mark them okay let me ask you then uh did your prophet receive inspiration in the sound of a bell before yeah Okay. The sound of the bell. Huh? So how the bell is the sound and the musical instrument is the of the devil, and suddenly it became the musical instrument of Allah. It's just the sound. It's not the bell. Well, the bell, not is, not the bell is a sound. The, the bell, bell. When we say a bell, the bell. What would the bell do? The bell makes sound. The bell by itself, if you don't move it, is not a bell. It's the bell of a sound, but uh, it's the sound of the bell. But it's not Abdul, actually Abdul, the bell. Abdul, Abdul. It says, you know, listen. Yes, uh, it says here, the bell is the music instrument of the devil. Correct. So the sound of the bell. He's talking about the sound of the bell. So the the musical instrument of the devil of Shaitan is the bell so what is that the sound obviously so the sound of the bell is the musical instrument of shaitan so how allah he, he sent him quran as a bell the bell is the musical instrument the sound is not the sound is what the musical instrument makes <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you an example. Okay, give me an example, brother. Speaker, give me an example. <laughs> right? The speaker, I can play mm. the sound of a bell from the speaker, but you know, it's not the the, the, the bell. Yeah, but Abdul, you know, making the, the sound, the, it's the speaker. Abdul, Abdul, with my respect to your fancy intelligence, the bell can make only one sound, a sound of a bell. The speaker can whatever you you uh, you connect to to it, you know, it is going to play. This is stupid of you to yeah. say. So the that's bell what, that's is what the, I'm saying. the bell is the bell. It make a sound the of sound. a bell. So what is the problem? Anything. What is the problem? What, what your prophet said that the bell is the musical instrument. So what is the musical instrument? The sound of the bell. So as long the the, the bell sound is the musical instrument of shaitan, how the bell sound became the inspiration of the Quran. Nobody said the bell became the okay. Read it for us. Read, read, it for, read it for us. Read it. It's the read, sound. Read of it. The read bell. it. Okay. The hate in the front of it's, you. Read it. The, read it. The what? Al Harif bin Hisham asked the prophet. Is that it? Yeah. How does the divine inspiration come to you? Like in all these ways, and the voice which resembles 
See, it says resembles the sound of a ringing bell. Hmm. It doesn't say it. It doesn't say ringing bell. It doesn't say the sound of a ringing bell. Hmm. It says hmm. which resembles. It is, so, so it's sound. a sound. It's the same sound of a bell. Okay. Resemble. Yeah. It means the sound of a bell. Thank you very much. Okay. So you're a prophet. He received Just Quran. Rebel. Okay. Let me ask you. Did your Quran? Did your prophet receive Quran in Arabic or in a sound of a bell? From well, I'm not sure, but from the hadith that you hold gave on, hold on, me, hold on, 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 hold on. A Muslim is saying to us, he is not sure. This is impossible. I never saw a Muslim. He's not sure. Muslims are sure about everything. They are sure that the moon, the sun sit in murky water. They are sure that the sun run to every day from A to B and they sleep under the tree of Allah. Okay, they are okay, sure that me, meaning me, go inside your, let your me private verify. part. And now he's saying not sure. No, no, like this is not acceptable for you as a Muslim. Please don't do that. Say, I want you to be sure. How the Quran was given to Muhammad was given to him as a sound of a bell or in Arabic? It was given in Arabic. Okay, but it says here resemble the sound of a ringing bell. Hang on. Hmm. But the but. Arabic is translated from you know things like you know the sound of a ringing bell. Oh, translated. Just like, okay, hold on, just hold on, like the hold on, hold on. Let me think about it. Hold on, please. please. The microphone, Please, I, I need to know, do meditation uh, now. My voice enters the microphone, uh -huh. it goes into the wire, mm. and then it be, it's translated into, you know, electronic stuff, you know, and then it goes that's back to the, your, that's to the, the, uh, the to, to your end. Okay, what end? What do you mean? What, what do you mean end? So the, the, the sound of a bell came in the ear of Muhammad, came out from his end? What do you mean? No. He received a sound what of a I, bell. Muhammad, he heard the sound of a bell came from uh -huh. his end, as you said. You are the one who says and came out from the it end. Is so it came out from his end. Where it is translated? Who is the one who did the translation to Muhammad? From the sound of the bell to Arabic Quran. Uh huh. Who is the one God. who did that? Who? God. Why God is doing that? What what do you mean God? God he gave him a sound of a bell. He did not give him anything else. It says he gave him yeah, a sound of a bell. He gave him the sound of a bell, mm -hmm. and then he translates. Where do you get it. where do you get this it's from? That and then he translates. Does it say that? It's how I in interpret it. Oh, you okay? Hold on. Let let, let me. I, I, I just receive a message. Can you translate that for us? No, I can't. You did not work in the army before? Uh, no. Okay, so you're a prophet. You received it as assume this is the sound of a bell. How this translation happened? Go ahead. Oh, he gave. He gave. Hmm. What? So he gave the prophet, uh, you know, the ability to translate that. Oh, the prophet is a bell translation machine. And why Allah communicating with Muhammad? Bell translation how, how, his, how the shaitan, look, 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 look at the madness of your prophet. He, he is the one who said that the musical instrument of shaitan is the sound of a bell. Yet he received his holy teaching of Allah as a sound of a bell. I mean, does not make sense? Both Allah and Shaitan they use one language, which is the sound of a bell. No, they don't use the sound of a bell, they use bells. My friend, he received the musical instrument is the sound of the bell, and the Quran received by Muhammad as a sound of a bell. The instrument is hold not on, the sound on, of please. a bell. Hold the on, hold on, instrument please, hold on. is the bell. Please hold on. I'm receiving Quran now. Uh huh. Bismillah. Al Rahman. I, I do not get this one. I need to play it again. Hold on. I I need a high, just hold on. This voice is not clear. Uh, Ar Rahim. Ar Rahim. Goodbye. This is Ar Rahim. Ar Rahim. Yeah. I mean. Isn't it obvious what? that you are trying to cover up something wrong? 
Hello? He hang up. Hmm. The prophet who received command from the devil, the devil instrument is the bell, and then Allah, he sent him Quran as a sound of a devil, or in the, in the music of the devil. That means the Quran is the musical instrument of the devil. This is exactly what Muhammad is saying. What we learn from this sentence now, that Muhammad inside him, he have a shaitan. And the shaitan, he run inside his blood. And the shaitan, he command him to do good. The only prophet, or the one who claimed to be prophet, who insists that his master, his lord, is shaitan, is a devil, is Muhammad. And he is confessing that he make a confession saying this is the truth my lord and he is saying muhammad that his lord is the devil who in the world want to believe in this madness Any Abdul, and don't talk about the gay. There's a guy, he's a Muslim in the text, he's talking the word gay. You're a prophet. You, don't, you want me to show you what your prophet did? You're a prophet, he said. I never receive Quran unless I wear the clothes of my wife. And you tell me what is that? You're a prophet, is the only one we heard of. He's claimed to be a prophet. He put a lie eyeliner three times a day. Why a man he put eyeliner three times a day? All his life. Not like we, in old days, if somebody is sick, they do that to him. No problem. But this is not something for sickness. This is he do it to look pretty. And he never received Quran unless he wear his wife's clothes. Any Abdul? Change the topic, guys. We don't talk about gay. This is a Muslim trying to disturb our topic. Go back to that topic. The devil. The devil, which is a companion of the prophet, and he command him to do good. And the devil instrument is the, is the bell. The devil, he play music. He like music. He like to shake his bum. Hmm? If you search right now in the internet, you will find Muslims believe that they encounter sexual activities even with the devil. Let us see. Ten signs that the devil is sleepy with you, sister. What the heck is that? Ten signs. If a woman loved by genie, genie is loved, uh, a male genie, he is targeting Muslim females. Number one, often dreamed of being visited by a man. Oof. So if you are a female and you saw a man in your dream, that is the genie. This is not a dream, this is real. Attend to figure of an old creature. There is something moving in your Gentiles. What? No, 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 no. You need to go do do. You think no, no, no. Who said that, Doctor Abdul Samud? This is what Islam made out of you. No wonder why everybody went to the moon, and you are still talking about the Gentiles. Something moving inside what? Oh boy, change the page. Maybe Dr. Abu Samud, one day he will have the courage to call me and get me busted. Somebody saying, seriously? Yeah, hello, this is very serious religion, brother. What are you talking about? What do you mean by saying seriously? 
How will somebody say it seriously? Don't say that. This is Islam, brother. It's very serious religion. Everything here is serious. Extremely serious here. Are you kidding me? What do you mean seriously? Please respect yourself. This is the Prophet talking and this is the Allah teaching and this is the books of Islam uh, 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 dictionary. This is very strong teaching. And me myself, I'm being targeted by a female genie. But nothing moving there. <laughs> oh boy. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Any two? Any three sold? That's it. The auction is over. What this religion is about? And you know, you see the Muslims like, we believe in one God and the, the Quran is full of... Do you know what the Quran says about genie? You will not believe it if we go and read in the Quran what the Quran says about genie. You will not believe it. Look at this. Chapter 6, verse number 112. Now this one needs a special voice to read it. <clears throat> And so we have appointed. We have appointed for every prophet enemies. Enemies, the shayateen, devils among the mankind and the jinn. Inspiring one another with adorned speech. Like, hold on, hold on. Allah appointed shaitan to the prophet how this happened let us imagine how this happened shaitan was sitting in his home watching TV he was watching Rambo hello hey this is the recruiting department of Allah and you've been chosen for a mission you have to report immediately to the office of Allah Okay, I'm watching TV now. Can you call me later? Sorry, you have to report immediately. Otherwise, Allah will not give you the job. Do you want the job or not? And can you tell me you will send me to who? The Prophet Muhammad. I'm coming immediately. Did you say Prophet Muhammad? I love to do things to him. Yes, exactly. It's Prophet Muhammad. I want you to come exactly now. And thou shaitan. He back up all his tools, and one of them is the bell. Don't forget the bell. I mean, the bell, he cannot leave without the bell. It's his musical instrument. <laughs> like, you know, some people, they take their guitar with them. They take their, uh, you know, I mean, depend what is your hobby. Shaitan, he take the bell with him. Da -da 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 he love it. I think Shaitan now, God knows how many, I mean, Shaitan knows how many bell he is carrying. And especially with cell phone, now you can install like a million sound of a bell in your phone. So shaitan was hired by Allah to be the enemy of the prophet. So who is the shaitan? Any Muslim can tell us? By the way, how many of you are here now from Indonesia? Let us see. How many people here from Indonesia? Give me one if you are from Indonesia. Okay, I will start with myself. I think I'm Indonesian by birth. But my dad, he changes my uh, ID for security reason. How many Indonesian here? I'm the only Indonesian here? Look at this. I am the only Indonesian here. Unbelievable. Oh, there is more Indonesian. I was afraid, but in the beginning, I thought I'm alone here, Indonesian. Okay. I love you all, Indonesian people. I really love you. I really, really love you. Christian, Muslims, doesn't matter. We love you. Wonderful people. Beautiful people, actually. And Islam is the, the biggest problem they have in this country. They are wonderful people. Indonesian, they are really, really very kind, very beautiful, very nice people. They don't deserve to have such a cult in their land. 
and we are in the process of deleting that cult millions and millions of Muslims are leaving Islam from this cult being saved and they are coming to Christ and the number of Christian in Russia is increasing faster than the light of the Sun now who's a Muslim when I tell us who is an Ustad I, I like the Ustad they call themselves Ustad I don't know how that worked Ustads, Ustads. Even they don't know even how to say the word uh, uh, the, because the word Ustads is not correct in, in the way they say it. The word in Arabic is Ustaz, which means a master, teacher. So they call themselves Ustaz, teaching you rubbish. This is rubbish, and they can't even explain it. How Allah is the good God, yet Shaitan is the the good person because he is doing a job and he is hired by Allah am I lying the verse in the front of you it's in the front of you who is the one saying and do so we appointed Allah supposedly when Allah he appoint to every prophet Shayateen. That means Allah is the boss of Shayateen and they work for him. I mean, how clear it is. Shayateen, they do bad things doing the commands of Allah. That means Allah is the biggest Shaytan. وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَا لِكُلِّ نَبِيٍ عَدُوٌ لِكُلِّ نَبِيٍ Every prophet, not only Muhammad, an enemy from the shayateen. Shayateen al-insi wa-jinn. And not only that, shayateen, they have nice speeches, beautiful speeches. With the Muslim, they say to us, the Quran is so beautiful. Don't you say that? Not only the Muslims, they say that the Quran is so beautiful. They say it's full of Zukhrof. What Zukhrof mean? Zukhrof is very decorated, you know, like somebody doing his best to add some words which usually is not used. And he is not creating the word, but he is insisting to make it like a different kind of a speech to prove to us his skills. If we take the same word and we post it in the Quran, the same exact word, we will find this appear in many verses. And Zukhrof always is about decorating thing and there is no need for it. It's just a decoration. So why Allah giving us Quran with decoration has no meaning. Hmm? Adorned, ad ad adorable materials. So the Quran is decorated by adorable material just to make it look good, but it's useless. And the shaitan and Allah, they are confirming to us that both of them, they are a corporation and they work together, as you see. The one who appoints shaitan to you, if you are a prophet, is Allah. Somebody is saying to me, don't forget, be humble. I don't know what this has to do with the topic. Somebody saw, told you I'm very proud or I don't know what people are talking about. What this have to do with my topic? My friend, I'm very humble. I eat every day uh, tomato and little salt. And a piece of red bread. Oh, how humble I can be more than this. I drive a very old car. Yesterday, somebody say, made fun of me, says, because you drive an old car, this is why nobody marry you. <laughs> how humble I can be more than this. <laughs> and what this have to do with my topic? Unbelievable. Let me open the window and jump. That's it. You hurt my feeling. Any Abdul? Any Abdul?
No Abdul. So what? Like, are we out of Abdul now? How Allah is God. And then Allah, he sent shaitan. And then shaitan, he command Muhammad to do good. Have you ever heard of a madness like this before? Hmm? Crazy, isn't it, brother? Any Muslim? <clears throat> Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Thank you, thank you, Indonesian brothers and sisters. I love you. I love all people in the world. Indian, actually, there's a lot of people from India, wonderful people who they come and listen to us too. I mean, uh, but obviously, my videos are flooding Indonesia. I saw my videos translated by some of you have 600,000, 500,000, even though they paused them like, you know, like a month ago or something like this. And this is how he used the impact we are doing in Indonesia. And who can stop that? Who is the Ustad? He is going to give a Christian prince a call and say, hey, Indonesian, I'm going to show you that this guy, he know nothing. I can refute him. Maybe Ustaz Abdul Samud, who believe, hey, Abdul Samud, do you know that this microphone in front of you have a genie? Yes, brother. You speak from here, the voice come from there. Obviously, there is a genie. Where is your Ustad? Where, is, where are they? Hmm? By the way, even the Muslims, because they don't understand, they say that the word kafir is the one who is not believing in Allah. But uh, uh, the Muslims, they say that Ibrahim was Hanif. Hanif. And Hanif means kafir. This is how stupid they are. Those who can spread the words without knowing. Hanif is an Aramaic word. So you say we are Muslim, we are Hanif. Ignorance. Thank you, John. Thank you. You see how much, uh, how, how, how many Indonesian we have here? Well, by the way, I noticed that in Indonesia, there's a lot of Indonesians. And same in China. I was like, when I went there, like, I was like, what? Why a lot of Indonesian in Indonesia? Because, you know, I could not believe it. I discovered that. By the way, nobody before me discovered that. Me and Ustaz Abdul, we have two discovery. Abdul Samad, he discovered that there's a genie inside the cross and genie inside the Prophet Muhammad, and he's a shaitan. And I discovered there's a lot of Indonesian in Indonesia. Nobody can do that. Only me and Ustaz Abdul Samud. Hmm. So who is next? Who is the Muslim would like to give me a call and explain to us how in the world this religion function? And the website we are showing you the article from, it's called the New Mandala. And in New Mandala website, they are saying that Mr. Abdul Samad he charged 6,000 for every sermon. Like, what? $6,000 for every sermon? Obviously, Ustaz Abdul Somad, he is, a, you know, he is serving Allah. He's not doing business. Only $6,000 for a speech for 30 minutes. And look how cheap it is. He's a very good servant of Allah, brother. He reminded me of his prophet who said, don't go to the prophet's house before you give him something. If you want to meet him in a private consultation. Hmm? What 60 dollars? 
six thousands per sermon and he never charged fixed price like the band <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so do we have any Abdul would like to say something? Anyone would like to tell us something? Something useful, something smart, something to refute us? Anyone? Anyone? Nobody? So, the conclusion, we have a prophet. He has a shaitan. Shaitan running inside his blood. And the shaitan, he command him to do good. Which means there's a lot of Quran, a lot of hadith. is nothing but the command of the devil, as you see. Who is the one reporting that for us? Muhammad himself. Claiming that shaitan gave him good commands. Like what? Praying five times? Sleeping with women to do muta'ah? Three days, three nights? What is the good commands of Mr. Shaitan? How shaitan gave good command? How shaitan and the prophet, they became partners in a mission to spread Islam? Because this is what it says. When Muhammad, he received command from the shaitan, and those command are good command. That's mean Muhammad, he agreed with the command, and he described them as good command. And as long shaitan, he give good commands, and Muhammad receive and agree with the command, that means Muhammad, he practiced the command of the devil. And Muhammad, Is serving a master, his name is Shaitan. Sorry, my friend, the one who was posting the phone number of Abdul Samad, I cannot call him. <clears throat> uh, maybe one day, but uh, if we call him, he might uh, accuse me of uh, harassment, brother. So all those thousands are listening. Where is the Muslims? We have we have 15 dislike from Muhammadan. Why we have only 1,000 like? Why? Do I deserve uh, only 1,000 like? Okay, I will do this to you. If you don't give me a like right now, I'm going to ask Allah to appoint shaitan for you. Oh. And shaitan will come and will say to you, I'm sent to you by Allah and I'm going to give you a beautiful speech so you will not listen to the word of Allah and you will give a Christian prince alike that's so good that's so beautiful Unbelievable. Guys, do you think inside me there's a genie? Let us ask like a neck. Question Prince, inside you there is a genie. And I know the question before you ask me. Exactly like how you know? How you know that this is the question I'm going to ask you? Because me myself, I have a genie inside me. And the genie inside me, he spoke to the genie inside you, and they speak in a language which we cannot hear, brother. Uh, did you call me brother? You are a Muslim. I'm a Christian prince. I'm the enemy of Allah. Sorry, I did not want to call you brother, but the dini inside me, he was speaking to the dini inside you. You forgot? Uh, okay. I thought that you are calling me brother. Does it make sense? Exactly. I didn't make sense. I will never call you brother. And you are not my brother. But the dini inside me speak to the dini inside you. And by the way, the dini inside you is very short and he looked funny. Hey, do you have a picture of him? I have a picture of him. Let me open my phone because he sent it. He sent a selfie to my genie. He sent it to your genie. How they can do that? Incredible. 
And Allah, he told that about them in the Quran. And this is the scientific discovery. Nobody found until now except the Prophet of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Oh boy. Oh boy. <clears throat> oh mommy. Oh mommy, mommy blue. Oh mommy blue. Oh mommy. Mommy Muhammad. Hey Muhammad, you, you, you drive us crazy, Muhammad. What is that? Allah, he appointed shaitan to you. And then shaitan, he is a Muslim. He is shaitan. And he command you good command. And you, Muhammad, you do the command of shaitan. Nice to meet you, Muhammad. Hey, by the way, can we shake hands with your master? I mean the shaitan. <clears throat> and look. Muhammad saying that he is saved from the shaitan, but look what happened. I don't know if I should mention this. It's very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. The prophet, he was bewitched. Like what? Like what? What? The prophet who want to save the world, he himself is bewitched. I, 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 hold on. I need to, uh, I cannot comprehend that. I, hold on. I need some help. The prophet got bewitched. Okay. Me, Hari Buddha, ah, ah. What the heck is that? I'm scared just from the image. What is this? Ooh, what the what? The prophet who is protected by Allah, he was bewitched. Are you? Hmm? And what happened when the prophet was bewitched? That is, remind me of a friend of mine. She looked like his mother-in-law. She looked like that. She have wings and stuff like this. And uh, look at her hand. What the? Where did she get this hand from? The hand is bigger than her head three times. Uh, she is made from wood. What is that? I don't know. Just let it let it go. Okay, so now the prophet, brother, he was bewitched. Where is Ustaz Abdul Sama to tell us how the prophet who is protected by Allah and he will deliver a message and now he's bewitched? And what the prophet happened to him when he was bewitched? Listen carefully. My uncle asked Allah Apostle about a person who imagined to have passed wind. <laughs> the guy, he took an airplane all the way from Jakarta. And then he went all the way to the land of the Dalai Lama, which is in uh, <clears throat> Zimbabwe. And then he stopped in his way in Brazil because it's next to Jakarta. And then he said to himself, let me drink a, a, a cup of coffee uh, uh, in uh, the Philippines, which is in the north of Canada, to ask the prophet a very important question, brother. Extremely important question. Prophet, what if I imagine that I did... <laughs> the prophet, he was like, this is a very deep question. Thank you, my son, for asking the question. I am the farting guru, and I am going to teach you about the answer. I need to do some meditation now, but in order to do it, you need to do some farting. So we can have some material of the farting and some inspiration from the devil. And then the devil will command me good to tell you about what to do with your farting. That is so deep. I mean, save your questions to the prophet, especially if it's come to farting. And then after that, 
Muhammad he became bewitched and look what happened to him somebody saying Kada at the capital of the Philippines are you are you in doubt about our knowledge as Arab my friend don't you know that we are the Arab the first one discovered America don't you know that the Arab Shakespeare is an Arab and his real name is Shakespeare I mean come on for how long you will stop and hide the history the true history we are the Arab we are the one who discovered everything in the world <clears throat> Oh boy. So the prophet continued for such and such a period. I'm getting dizzy with this such and such, like such and such, such and such, such and such. I mean, like this this is like backward forward sentence will make you dizzy, like whiz, 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 whiz. such and such period. Imagine that he had boom boom with his wives, but in fact he did not. Like what? Look, look, what, what, what? This is the prophet who was the most beloved by Allah and the most protected by Allah and everything he is saying is a inspiration from Allah as the Quran says. Yet the Quran proved to us that Muhammad and the Hadith that Muhammad was bewitched and Shaitan put command in his voice, in his mouth. And made him recite satanic verses and things go so bad to the point Muhammad even having sex with the wrong items I mean I'm not saying that it's in front of you because when you say he imagined he is not imagined when he's he was asleep this is during daytime isn't it beautiful you can debate me in Arabic if you are a man, CP. I mean, you're speaking this. Why you want to debate me in Arabic? No problem. That's good. You know Arabic. Call me Mr. Flashy Flashy. Guys, Mr. Flashy, he says, he can debate me in Arabic if I dare. My friend, the question is, do you dare to call me? And you can answer me in English or read in Arabic. Our topic here, we are speaking English because people don't speak Arabic. But as long you are a very educated person, brother, and you speak Arabic that will make it priceless so the question is mr. flashy do you dare to call me right now or you are just making uh, you wanna look like a hero in front of a Muslim wearing hijab you want to show her like I'm I'm sexy and I know it is it the point because if you really mean it you should call me correct guys we are desperately waiting for a Muslim to call us and you are saying you speak Arabic and obviously you speak English and yet you are not calling me like what like what what obviously you are bewitched like your prophet so you think you are by saying words you can make yourself a winner but you don't want to do the words otherwise you would be calling me immediately immediately brother hmm By the way, is any of you trying to put uh, uh, magic on me? Because I imagine yesterday that I took my lunch, but I did not took it. It was dinner. Hmm? Who is that? Hey, where are you, Flashy? You are too Flashy now. Everybody is laughing at you if you don't call me. Because if you are really you mean what you said, you should call me immediately. Oh, Flashy will call me after I hang up and go to sleep. And then he will imagine that he debated me and he won. And he will make a video saying, I won you and you know it. Somebody saying to me in, in, in the Indonesian, oh, hold on, let me translate for you. Uh, Kalayan Lizan Ibn Baik uh, CP Dang Dong uh, Dan uh, Ikaban Barakat. Guys, I will do that translation tomorrow. Thank you very much. Okay. <clears throat> Any Abdul? 
You can call me if you are a Muslim. If you are a Muslim, feel free to call me. My line is open, waiting for anyone to call me, as long as you are a Muslim. You see, guys, how good my translation for the Indonesian? I speak all languages, like Allah. Allah speak only Arabic. <laughs> the funny, the Muslim, they say that Allah, he sent the Quran in Arabic. And we have to pray always in Arabic. Okay, why, brother? Because Allah wanted to make the Quran clear. <laughs> the Arabic language is the last one to be clear. This is the worst language in the world to clear anything. Look what the Quran said. Verily, verily we sent it down as an Arabic Quran in order that you may understand. He's speaking to Indonesian, by the way. He is speaking to Indonesian who not even one of them speak Arabic, including the Ustad. So in order to understand, I will give you a language you don't understand. And even the Arab themselves, they can't understand. And that to make it clear for you, brother. Do you see how clear the message is? Hmm? What happened to Flashy? Did he flash out? What happened? Hmm? The flesh he was so excited if you dare to debate me and or like I did not notice him and the second we mention his name flashy is bye bye it's history <clears throat> anyone and you too? By the way, Muslims, you can debate me as a group, which means you can invite like 10, 20 Ustad with you. All of you, you sit behind one table, and I will sit behind the table, but down in the floor, hiding from you, and you answer me. Who want to do that? Hmm? Anyone? We can debate even in a cave if you want. So you will not see my face and get scared. And the genies will come inside the cave. They are appointed by Allah. Anyone? Hmm? Come on, don't be scared. This is not even the cave. This is just uh, the, the faucet is dropping water. Huh? Any Abdul? No? So what we, uh, what we learned as a conclusion today, that Islam is a collection of a stupid teaching and total contradiction of behavior and teaching of the one who call himself a prophet of Allah a man he claimed that he is serving God yet he claimed that he is serving the devil in the same time the devil give him good command Allah give him good com good command which one of Muhammad he obey Muhammad he confirmed that he agree with the command of the devil and he described it as a good command Muhammad he claimed that the bell is a musical instrument of shaitan and shaitan he run inside your body like the blood actually in the blood 
and then we find that Muhammad he received Quran as a sound of a bell so Allah sound and Muhammad or shaitan sound both is the same it is a sound of a bell Muhammad received Quran as a sound of a bell but the sound of the bell is the musical instrument of shaitan Muhammad received Quran as a sound of a bell but they give it to us in Arabic in fact it should not be in Arabic it should be in a sound of a bell because this is how you receive it he did not receive Arabic Arabic sound is not a bell we are the Arab we don't ring when we talk to each other have you ever heard of an Arab speaking to other Arab by ringing to him and now my brother will answer me uh -huh, okay, I got you. Uh -huh. and now my mom she want to say something uh -huh. okay mom she's angry because I ate the falafel wow, that's long So a prophet who receive Quran as a sound of a bell lying to us saying that he knew that the bell is the sound and the instrument of shaitan yet it's the same one the sound of Allah and Allah speaking by the ringing of the bell and then he gave us lying again that the bell became Arabic how you can do that you tell me And then we find that the prophet he was bewitched somebody took hair from his uh, <clears throat> and he placed magic on the prophet and since then the prophet is not the prophet no more he is he but not he we have a Muslim wanna call us all right hold on I think we got a fish I cannot find that name, my friend. The one you gave me, you gave me. It cannot be found in my Skype. <clears throat> Any Abdul? I'm making up a story. It's in the front of you. Guys, I'm making up a story. Everything I said until now, it's in the screen. I did not say one word is not in the screen. And flashy, why you don't call me and tell everybody that this guy is making up a story? We, we want to hear you. Give us a flash. What do you think? Why you don't flash us out? Don't open the camera and do some stupid stuff. You're flashy. Call me. What happened to the guy? You want to challenge me and you want to, you know, you blocked me? Who are you? I block you only if you are a kid and you say bad language. You know what? The one who's saying you blocked me. I mean, it's very easy to make a new name in, in Skype and call me. You have no excuse. You can make endless names in Skype. It takes you two minutes to create a new account. I will give you five minutes from now to create a new account to prove to us that you want to call me because you claim I blocked you. Correct, guys? Okay, if I block you, I block you with a name. Make a new name, which way there's no way I can know it. And give me a surprise and call me. Your excuse doesn't work with the Christian prince. Even if I block you, you can make a new account every five minutes or every two minutes and call me back. If this is the claim. You are not a kid, obviously you are a kid. Otherwise, why you are not calling me? Here we go. You are wasting my time. I give you attention. I thought you're an adult, but you are not. <coughs> Do we have any Muslim? Please don't use bad language in the chat, otherwise we will block you. Anyone?
what is the verse in the screen this is not a verse this is hadith Muhammad uh, what happened to him by his wife Aisha you know the Aisha mm, beautiful Aisha she was uh, very beautiful uh, they used to call her al humayra which means the blondie chapter Sahih Bukhari hadith number 6063 Okay, now I will block you for real. Here we go. We have no time for kids. Any Abdul? Why the Prophet of Allah can be controlled by the devil? Because when you say that the Prophet was bewitched, you just admitted that the Prophet was controlled by the devil. And the Prophet, he is saying that the devil, yes, controlled him and he controlled him to do good. Is that the good? To imagine himself having sex with his wife, but in fact it was something else. Yeah, they call her Al-Humayra. But I'm not sure why they call her Al-Humayra, if she was a blonde really, or she was, maybe she colored her hair with the... But mostly, they don't call you Al-Humayra, unless you have, maybe she is very white. You know, and the, like the sun will make her face kind of red. So, yeah, this is what they call her, Humaira. Humaira, which means the redhead. Redneck, sorry. Any Muslim? By the way, I'm black, blonde, African-American from Japan looking for a uh, uh, wife uh, from Indonesia. And then I will have little tiny uh, Christian French, Indonesian, Christian uh, CP in an Indonesian, uh, and he will speak to you in Indonesia. And then we will call him Ustad. In the age of two, he will open a channel and he will put next to it, Ustad Christian Prince Indonesia. And let us see, if the Christian Prince Junior from Indonesia, any Ustad in Indonesia there to debate him, even though he's wearing his diaper and he is two years old. He will scare the hell of you. Any Abdul? You are going to call me soon? Like how soon? After I uh, hang up? Guess this guy is going to call me soon. Soon. I mean, do you see how soon it is? I'm really convinced that you are going to call me soon. Very soon. Extre extremely soon. Just wait. I mean, we will make a symphony for you. By the time you call me, Indonesia will be asleep, Australia will be asleep, Philippines will be asleep, America will be asleep, Muhammad and Allah, they will uh, well, they are they asleep. I mean, when you are going to call me, why is it taking so long? Did you leave your phone, brother? Did you leave your Skype, brother, in the top of the tower of uh, Eiffel? Is that why it's taking you so long? Mean. That was a scary music. You guys, you have no good taste of a good music. This is very fantastic music. What's wrong with you? This music is the most beautiful music ever. It have a, First, it has a, a sound of a bell. <laughs> All right, guys. I think we have enough for today. Did we have a good time? Did we have a good time? And we learned something good. As you see, Islam is just a stupid cult. It's just a stupid cult, literally. And when I say it, I challenge people to prove me wrong. Stupid in science. Stupid in history. 
Stupid in the Arabic language. The most horrible book is the one written called the Quran. Stupid Arabic. There's a big sheikh who left Islam and he made a book about why he left Islam. If you listen to him, you will die laughing. And one of the things he speak about, how stupid the language is. How in the world anyone can believe in this madness? And how in the world you believe that there's a God out there, if I pray for him, he will give me a cabbage. Inside the cabbage, there is women. I open the cabbage to make salad, I find a virgin. Who are you? A virgin. What are you doing inside the cabbage? I'm your whore. But why are you sitting inside the cabbage? Because I'm being smuggled as a drugs through the border. What? What? I'm really convinced. I'm truly, truly convinced that this God must be true God. And the proof he gave us virgins. Look, what? The? This is so good to be true, brother. This is so beautiful. I cannot wait to go and get those uh, cabbage female. And not only that, those cabbage female, you better be careful because you might even see them. It's hard to see them. Why? Look what the prophet said. The prophet said, remember Muslims, not me. The prophet said that the versions which Allah will give us, they are so beautiful. So beautiful. To the point we can see through the marrow of their bones, brother. That's so good to be true. That's amazing. Only Allah can do that. I mean, think about it. There's two can do that. X-ray machine and Allah. So you choose one to worship, either the X-ray machine or Allah. So we will have women who they are transparent and we can see through the marrow of their bones. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy, mommy blue. Oh, mommy blue. Oh, mommy. Look at this beautiful. Look at this beauty. This is hot. It's getting hot here, guys. Sorry, I have to go. I Allah will give me this. I will see the marrow of in the inside their bones. And don't forget the prophet. He said that the sperm of the women come from her ribs. And the sperm of the man come from his backbone. And this is why there's a song. It's very famous, actually. This is why it was very successful. It's called Backbone, Backbone. What you going to do? What you going to do when I come for you? Backbone, Backbone. Backbone? How well I knew this? The sperm of the man is coming from his backbone and the sperm of the woman coming from the location of the necklace? To make it simple for you, in case you don't understand where the sperm is coming from, because most of you are ignorant and you will not understand the knowledge of Allah. This is exactly where the sperm is coming from for the women. And this is proven, brother, to be accurately true. There's a scientist, uh, scientist, what, what is scientist? It's scientist, what scientist, man? I mean, let it go. If Allah can make the sperm come from that location, can't I make scientific, scientist? I can. I mean, who care? So beautiful. And must be true. Always I wanted to have women who they are transparent. So if they walk in the front of my TV, they will not block my movie. I mean, think about it. You have a wife, she stands between you and the TV. She says, either you stop this movie now and wash the dishes, or, like, what? I will not move. 
But now, by the help of Allah, if your wife, she stand between you and the TV, who care? She is transparent. We can see through. <laughs> so beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Transparent women. Ooh. I heard about transparent government. I don't want to go there. It's very tempting. Very tempting, brother. Very tempting. So, uh, uh, people, my friends, my brothers, my sisters, my uh, listeners from Muslim community in Indonesia around the world, this is cannot be from God, my friend. You know it. This is stupid. This is cannot be godly promises. This is someone who is a racist. Speaking to the racist Arab, who they have obsession with the white color women. So he promised them that they are so white to the point they are transparent. This is why your heaven speaking about there is a shade because he's speaking to people of the desert. This is why he speak that in the heaven you will wear silk because those people they were poor, they don't have silk, they never heard they heard of it, but they never touch it. You will wear a bracelet because they never saw such a thing. He's trying to tempt them by stupid things, material, including sexual activities, perverted minded. This is cannot be God. God is the one who say that he and she, they will be the same as angels. And that is the Messiah, which means me and you, male and female, we will be in heaven and we will be like angels. We will not need sex. We will not need food. We will not be slaves of material. Jesus the Christ, he free you from your sexual needs. He free you from your food need, from a sleeping need. You will be free. In Islam, you have more addiction. You became a sex toy. This is what you do in heaven. You have no target. The reason for you to live there is just to have sex and eat, have sex and eat for eternity. How boring, how stupid. What kind of life this life is? Happiness, my friend, is more higher, more noble. The God who can give you a joy in your tongue to taste food, can't he give you a joy higher than that? He can. And it's not about food. It's not about sexual act. Sexual activity was for a reason. God, he gave the man a woman and the woman gave her a man so they can reproduce and have a family to survive. It was not for the purpose of sex. In Islam, sex became a purpose. Became a purpose of life, a purpose of worship, a purpose of bowing down to God, a purpose of belief. This is a sexual cult. And then Muhammad, he made verses in the Quran saying, any woman she want to give herself to me so I can sleep with her. What kind of God in the seven galaxies, beyond the seven trees, beyond the seven oceans, beyond the seven lake and the murky water where the sun set according to the Quran, he say, any woman she want to give herself to the prophet. He have already many wives. Why he need that? For this is a cult made by the man, for the man, his name is Muhammad. Wake up, my friend. Wake up and come back to Jesus. His name is holy. His word is holy. His act is holy. And now he is in the holy heaven. For he is our holy God. And even you Muslims, you believe that the Messiah is a living person until now where your prophet is dead. So we are the Christian. We follow the living one. The living one. His name is a Christ and no name better than his name. And he is my Lord. Come to him before it is too late. The devil will not save you. And his whore is a lie. And he is the father of all lies. Thank you very much for being here. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again. Thank you.